टॉपिक इज एजुकेशन ऑफ गर्ल चाइल्ड अ पॉजिटिव आउटब्रेक एजुकेशन इज वेरी नेसेसरी फॉर एवरी चाइल्ड वेदर बॉय और गर्ल एवरी गर्ल हैज अ राइट एवरी गर्ल हैज अ राइट टू ड्रीम टू लिव लाइफ on her own terms and she is capable to do so only she needs an opportunity which is very very important we are the lucky ones that we are educated but there are so many still they are not fortunate enough to get proper primary education especially if we will talk in the rural country in our rural areas because 71% of our indian population is in village एंड देर गर्ल्स के लिए आज भी एजुकेशन इतना इजी नहीं है सो गर्ल्स नीड टू बी रिस्पेक्टेड एंड ट्रीटेड इक्वली वी टॉक वी टॉक बट हाउ फार वी रियली बिलीव इन दिस एंड हाउ मच प्रैक्टिकली वी आर इम्प्लाइंग इट दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अराउंड फिफ्टी ईयर्स बैक देर वॉज सो मच डिस्क्रिमिनेशन अब डिस्क्रिमिनेशन उतना नहीं है बट स्टार्टिंग में तो अगर हम ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी ईयर्स पहले की बात करें तो बहुत ही ज्यादा था but now we are in a digital era and we are so much aware of our surroundings so here i would like to tell you something about this half of the population is of women and educating them will help to attain a socio economic development of country as education is very necessary for every child irrespective of the gender irrespective of gender every child has a right to learn to educate and girls are equally intelligent they are equally capable enough they are not less than anyone here i would like to tell you some statistics 74% youth literacy rate for females compared to 88% for males and this is unicef data 18 to 24 years old so it's very very clear to you 12% ka difference aa raha hai now the question is this that agar girl educated nahi hogi to aage jab wo mother banegi to usko kabhi bhi education ki importance ka pata hi nahi chalega that's why the second line is an educated mother more likely sends her child sends her children to schools to increase the literacy rate of a country education reduces the infant mortality rate since a learned mother will always take good care of her child this is very important jab ek lady educated hoti hai to hum ek pura samaj educated hota hai agar hum ek male ko educate kar rahe hain to hum individual ko educate kar rahe hain i am not saying that girls are better than boys i am not at all saying like this both are equal both are equal but here because it's a international day of the girl child so we are focusing basically on girls so to educate girls is to reduce poverty kofi annan said this now here i would like to tell you something more about it education gives the authority to a girl child to choose her career and support her family you know there were the times when there are only specific fields jahan pe sirf male dominated uh, areas the like army navy air force and wahan pe girls ko allowed hi nahi tha jana but over the years we have seen the changes and they are visible now in our society there are females in these fields too i will tell you few examples because i have seen their interviews that's why i am telling you captain annie divya she is world's youngest women commander boeing 777 and she is a women achiever chetna sinha economist farmer and women right activist Arundhati Roy, Sanya Mirza, Mary Com, Deepa Malik. They are these are different, outstanding women. But now the question arises: most important is that why they are so much successful? So the base is education because they are educated, they know their rights, and that is the reason that today they are achieving. They are achieving which anyone can achieve, even. we can achieve i can achieve you can achieve and even the less privileged if they will get education they will also achieve so now 47% of girls are married before the legal age of 18 these are also the datas and 
educated girl will involved in the political process to be a part of decision making and raise her voice for women rights now i would like to share with you a beautiful slide in 2009 the right to education act rte compulsory for children ages 6 to 14 this is very very important right to education act in india seems to have improved the country's ranking when looking at the growth in literacy rates in 2001 literacy rates was 64.8% however this had increased to 74.04% by 2011 as of 2001 around 54% of girls were literate however after the rte the percentage has increased to more than 65 by 2011 now here i would like to tell you a few more things about it as i have seen the data today only in times of india right so government of ncit of delhi with department of women and child development they are doing a wonderful job and this i am telling you from the datas major milestones that initiation of integrated model of care and protection of girl child women through saheli samanvay kent so regular capacity building of adolescent girls on digital literacy financial literacy entrepreneurial mindset vocational skills personality development rolled out as well as one thing more i would like to tell you here that around 9 lakh girl child given financial assistance under largely scheme and these data i have taken from today's times of india newspaper access to online education classes facilitated for all children in child care institutions so these are current data i am talking about so now i would like to tell you something more equation helps in getting equal opportunities definitely as uh, we will talk about this why there are dropouts of a school every year one of the major reason is girls toilets yes at least 47% of schools lack toilets forcing girls to rid their bodily waste onto the streets and which is morally degrading to them this is another reason they drop out of school to avoid the shame rte included adding toilets to school to solve this problem but it was not enough so this word toilet day hindu begins its mission to send our girls back to school through the built a toilet build her future initiative and now digital generation our generation this is the slogan current for this year unesco ka this year ka slogan hai digital generation our generation so as there is a african proverb if you educate a man you educate an individual but if you educate a woman you educate a family so with this i would like to say that education is a wide topic and there is so much to speak about this but due to time constraints i will conclude myself here only so this day reminds us that it is our responsibility to give them equal rights and to give them the importance they deserve let us all take a pledge and give one promise to our girls that we are standing with you and empowering you by investing in your education we can inspire who are less fortunate and less privileged less privileged so thank you so much for patiently listening to me thank you so much thank you so much ma'am for throwing light on importance of girl child in field of education with wonderful examples 